Hi guys, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to talk about RTX Voice. A lot of you guys went to my Twitch channel and asked me a lot of questions about it. Uh, so I'm going to do a small review and a couple of tests just to show you what you can do with RTX Voice. So first of all, we will start with the definition of RTX Voice. Uh, NVIDIA is saying that NVIDIA RTX Voice is a new plugin that leverages NVIDIA RTX GPUs and their AI capabilities to remove distracting background noise from your broadcast, voice chat, and remote video conference and meeting and stuff. So it can apply on like if you are a streamer or YouTuber or just like you're using Zoom with your friend. So, and even on Discord, honestly, if you have issue because you have a lot of noise in your house and people are complaining about your mic, you can't use the RTX voice. Second thing that I want to mention, uh, you can find it on Reddit. People uh, are activated the uh, uh, RTX voice on older video card. So you don't need an RTX uh, card to use it, but the only issue is uh, you got, it's gonna take more resources on your video card. So you should definitely do a test on your own. But uh, I saw a couple of people who were using it without the RTX card. So here's a couple of supported app right now, OBS Studio Streamlabs. So if you're a streamer, you pretty much have everything over there. Discord, Google Chrome, and a couple of other ones like Skype, Zoom, Slack, etc. So first of all, uh, when you want to install the um, NVIDIA RTX voice, you have something like that. This is the software. So you need to check the remove background noise from microphone. Make sure that it's at 100%. And after that, you need to select your input device. So in that case, it's my microphone Yeti Nano, really important. And you will see in your mixer, if you go there, you have now two recording. So the first one is the RTX voice that's currently over there. And you have your Yeti Nano. If you want to know where you have to change your gain, it's still on the microphone. This one, don't touch it. The level will always be at 100%. And this is your uh, gain from your microphone. So if you want to change your gain, it's over there. Don't touch the RTX voice. So that's pretty much it. You can also do it for background uh, noise uh, in incoming audio. So you can remove stuff from your friend. But honestly, I I'm not using it. This video is just for your microphone. So uh, yeah, we're going to do a couple of tests. I'm going to do a test with my keyboard and mouse with uh, without and with the RTX voice. And after that, I will do a test with a fan near from my mic and I will show you the difference. So now let's start the test. Let's go to our audio. We're going to change it for the uh, Micron YD Nano. So I'm press done, click X. So now I'm just going to spam my keyboard and click my mouse. So that's pretty much it. This is the sound of it. Now let's go with the RTX on. So now I'm going to spam my keyboard. I'm spamming the keyboard right now. So this is for the first test. The second test, we will do the uh, fan. So again, go with Blue AD Nano, clicks X over there. I'm going to start the fan really quickly. Just a sec. So the fan is at on right now. So we will keep the fan on and we will change the audio. Go with the RTX voice. Now the RTX voice is on. Another point that I want to make, it's the um, resources from the software. So when you control L delete and you want to see the resources uh, taken by the software, 
it's in the RTX voice over there. So right now it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, three days ago I did a video in French and I, it was taking one gig of memory. Now it's like 23 meg. And normally my GPU usage it's between one and four person. So I didn't see a huge increase over there. It doesn't touch your NVEC encoder. So if you stream with the NVEC, it it will not overload your encoder. But it's touching your GPU. So I did a couple of tests in uh, games like um, the new Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, uh, Battlefield 5, and also what did I just try? Uh, I think it was Wilson. And the impact on my FPS was about 4%. I was losing 2 to 4% depending on the game, but it's not a huge deal, and I was really impressed. Uh, if you hear my test, I just want to like talk about it. The first one was the keyboard. You can hear, you can still hear my keyboard, but the thing is with this software, it's a bit weird. Uh, when you start a test, sometimes you will hear the noise and after that, the software will kind of learn about it and they will like remove the background noise after a couple of like 10, 15 seconds. My test in French was better than English, but the fun was really good when I just, um, put the RTX voice on, you saw that the, the noise completely uh, was removed from my uh, audio when I was speaking. So uh, that, that that's a huge deal. Right now I'm using it when I stream, when I do some YouTube, even on my Discord, honestly. Uh, it's working really well. Nobody's told me like, oh, your voice is clipping and stuff like that. So for my voice, it's really good and it removed like maybe 75 to 80% of my keyboard slash click with my mouse and it removed all those uh, background noise that I have in my house, like my AC and stuff like that. So honestly, for a first version, I'm really impressed. I'm pretty sure they're going to patch it and improve it. So for me right now, it's a go download it and you will see by yourself. So if you have any question about RTX voice, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe guys. Peace.